Alright guys, so WrestleMania 2 has kicked off with Randy Orton versus The Fiend. In my opinion, probably the most anticipated match of the whole WrestleMania. Albeit the build up it, it sometimes was shit. But in other parts it was good, so it was a bit of a mixed bag. But this was the match I was most looking forward to going into the show. And we, we start with the entrances and Randy Orton's debut in new trunks, white trunks, whatever. Nice, cool entrance. Does the whole pose, fireworks go off. That's cool. Alexa Bliss comes out in the playhouse gear. Uh, she comes out and does like a big massive jack-in-the-box and she opens up the jack-in-the-box with a handle and the next minute the fiend, the normal fiend, the non-burnt fiend appears. The red lighting's on, he had the similar red lighting to this, what he used at the start when he first debuted at the fiend character and he wasn't burned. He must have been using the same cream that Randy Orton used half before uh, Royal Rumble because it was magically healed. And then he jumps after the uh, jack-in-the-box, clotheslines Orton and unfortunately it went downhill from there. <laughs> they had like a, a five minute match that was absolute shit, nothing happened. It was basically stomps. There was one wee spot where Orton back backdropped uh, the Fiend onto the announce table, but the Fiend just hit him with a clothesline. Nothing really happened here. Uh, the Fiend went for a punt kick, Orton rolled out the ring. Uh, then it looked like the Fiend was about to put Orton away, and the next minute, Alexa Bliss comes out of the Jack in the Box covered in this black shit. I don't know if it's the same shit that Randy Orton was coughing up all week, but this distracted the Fiend. He, I guess he was worried or concerned about Alexa looking like this. I don't know what happened. And then he turned around, RKO, one RKO, and that was it. Game over. That was it finished. <laughs> Randy Orton defeats The Fiend in about five minutes. Absolute messy a match. I can't believe how bad this was. And then at the end, Alexa Bliss and The Fiend just disappear. And that is it. Over. Um, Really, really awful end to this um, this feud. To be honest, it's, it's, it's it dragged on far too long. This feud started off good with the Fiend getting burnt alive and then the gasoline and Alexa with the fireball and then Art Orton with RKO. But like the last like two months, it's literally two months, six weeks, it's just went downhill. And then tonight, this summed it up. It just, what a terrible uh, finish to, in my opinion, something that was started off as a really, really good feud. So the match was crap. The payoff was crap. You come, I thought we were going to get some form of cinematic match and we didn't get nothing cinematic. Uh, we, we just got a basic poor five minute wrestling match with a screwy finish. So, uh, oh my god, you compare this to the match we've seen last year and it's fucking night and day. Don't get me wrong, the entrances were cool and I guess the finish was, I don't know, I don't know what the finish was. I don't even know what happened. Did Alexa Bliss turn on The Fiend or... I don't know. You tell me, guys. But anyway, Randy Orton's defeated The Fiend at WrestleMania. Did not see this coming. The match was shit. The finish, I, it was unique, I guess. I wasn't expecting it, but that just because I wasn't expecting it doesn't make it good. I don't know, guys. Very, very wasteful, in my opinion. They could have did so much more with this. Should have been a cinematic match, and they've fucking blown it, in my opinion. So, I don't know. That's It's, it's disappointing that a six-month feud comes to an end like this, and it goes out with a, you know, awful, awful.